Yes guys, how's everyone doing? Welcome back to the Dugout Football Channel where it is time for my Premier League team of the season for the 2021-2020-21 Premier League season. It has been another fantastic season and we shall see who I have in my team of the season. So we'll, we'll start with the formation. I've gone for a 4 Two, three, one. I've gone for a four, two, three, one. So we'll see. We'll see what uh, we'll see what happens with uh, with this. So my goalkeeper, right? So there have been, there have been a f lot of good goalkeepers this season. Um, Sam Johnston at West Brom, uh, Emmy Martinez Aston Villa, Edward Mendy at Chelsea, Ederson at, um, at Manchester City, and Nick Pope at Burnley. Right. My goalkeeper is going to be Emmy Martinez. I think Emmy Martinez has had a fantastic season with Aston Villa, and you have to you have to now question the fact that probably Arsenal got rid of the wrong goalkeeper now, because I think Emmy Martinez has had a fantastic season. Fifteen clean sheets. That was only four fewer than Ederson this season. He's, been, he's had a fantastic season, uh, Emmy Martinez. Uh, I think he's had one mistake leading to a, to a goal. Uh, he's just been very, very, um, very, very consistent in that Aston Villa back, uh, goal. And actually, you know, he's, he's had Ezri Konza, he's had Tyrone Mings playing in front of him. And I think that's made him a better goalkeeper. I think he's been absolutely fantastic this season. Um, and to make a £20 million move to Aston Villa, I think was the right move for him. Um... And he's, he has been very, very well capable of being a, a number one goalkeeper. So my goalkeeper of the season in my team of the season is Aston Villa's Emmy Martinez. Now we move on to the defence and there's going to be four in the back line. Uh, so I'm going to go for the right back to begin with. Now there's been a lot of good right backs this season. There's been Joao Cancelo of Manchester City. There has also been Matty Cash of Aston Villa. There have been uh, Vladimir Soufal as well um, at, at West Ham. Um, and, yeah, I mean, you, obviously, you know, second half of the season, you could definitely say uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold for, for sure for Liverpool. But my right back of the season and my team of the season is going to be Vlad Soufal. I am going to have to say this now. What a pick-out West Ham got with this player. Most consistent right-back this season. I don't, I, don't care, I don't care what anybody says. I know people are going to say, oh, well, Cancelo's had like a much better season than, you know, Soufal. Um, but consistently, throughout the whole season, Soufal has been fantastic. Um, made a number of appearances for West Ham and he's really really made them a d better better team in that back line look Cresswell's had a fantastic season for West Ham as well in that back line uh you know Jup and um yeah I think it was Og Ogbonna and uh, also uh Dawson they've had a cracking season as well but Right back for me, Soufal. I think he's had a fantastic season. Um, do, he always gives you a 7 or an 8 out of 10. I, I think Soufal has been absolutely magnificent this season. So my right back is Soufal of West Ham. Now we move into the left back. I will go left back this time. And really, there's really only one option here. It's Luke Shaw. Uh, Manchester United's Luke Shaw. Look, Luke Shaw has been probably the best right uh, left back in the Premier League this season. Pains me to say this, obviously being a Liverpool fan, but uh, you have to say Shaw has had a cracking, cracking season. Made a number of assists, made a number of appearances as well. He he's brought his new he's brought his game up to a new level. I I I thought when he got that really serious injury against PSV Eindhoven, I thought. Oh dear, you know, Shaw, bad, bad injury, but to be fair, he's come on leaps and bounds here, and, uh, you know, he has, he has probably been the best of a, of a, of a bad bunch, I would say, in the Manchester United defence, I mean, look, Lindelof, Lindelof hasn't been great, wan bissaka has been caught out way too many times as well, but yeah, yeah, he has, he has had, he has had a good season, but if, I, if there's anybody to go in that, in that back lane for my team of the season from Manchester United, it would be Luke Shaw, so Luke Shaw has had a fantastic, fantastic season 
for Manchester United and I think he deserves to go into my team of the season so yeah I'm going to look Shaw at left back people could have said Cancelo for left back Cancelo has been Mr Versatile for sure Stuart Dallas has played there as well but for me Luke Shaw is the standout pick as well uh, move on to the centre backs and now we have one centre back that is definitely definitely in there it's the Football Writers Association Player of the Year in Ruben Diaz. Yes, Ruben Diaz has had a fantastic season for Manchester City. Um, quite clearly, he's you know he, he has actually improved that that back line. You'd have to say, um, you know, playing alongside Stones, Garcia, Diaz has had the had it all. Um, and you have to say that you know Diaz, it was a it was a shrewd move to get him in and you know send Otamendi the other way. Um, but but fair play to Pep Guardiola, fair play to Manchester City, managed to get um, you know Diaz in the, in the door, and it was a great great signing um, as well. So yeah, Ruben Diaz, no no complaints for me. Outstanding season from Diaz, and uh, came out with a few goals as well. So. He, he has been a very, very good player this season. So, is it going to be all Manchester City for the back line? Or have I got somebody else? Funnily enough, I actually have somebody else. And it is Wesley Fofana of Leicester City. Now, what I will say is, I think the way that Leicester City have played this season... You have to say they they have had a good season. Um, Wesley Fofana has been fantastic again. Um, look... Another good player that came in from, you know, um, the French League. Leicester City, oh, Leicester City found Mares for goodness sake, from the, the, you know, the French League. They found Kante from the French League. They seem to have found another gem in Wesley Fofana. Absolutely magnificent signing that he's been. And he's, he's been so, so good this season. Uh, he's only going to, get, going to get better. Only 20 years of age. He's only going to get better as, as, as Fofana. And... I think I think that's a very very good backline. So, yeah, Wesley Fofana and Ruben Diaz are my centre backs as well. So as I said, I'm doing a four-two-three-one. So we've got two midfielders in there, and another midfielder I'm going to go for is Ilkay Gundogan of Manchester City. It'd be it'd be very very foolish of me to put Gundogan out of this team. Gundogan has had a fantastic season. Look at the the amount of goals he has got. He's really really improved his goal scoring um, for sure. One of the best midfielders for Manchester City this season uh, is what you could actually say he has kind of outshone Kevin De Bruyne. And that's the only reason I've actually put Gundogan in there. Uh, because I think Gundogan has actually had a very, very good season. He has come up with a lot of goals, few assists as well. He's He's been very, very consistent. Yes, he has been injured a wee bit as well. But came back and he's looked a very, very good player. So Ilkay Gundogan is my first midfielder to go into that team of the season. Alongside him, I am going for West Ham's um, Thomas Socek. Yes, Sufal and Socek. Now, those two have been fantastic signings by West Ham United. Socek, I know he was there on loan last season at West Ham and looked very, very good then. West Ham took the took the decision to sign him permanently, and he has come on leaps and bounds this season. Was sent off wrongly at Fulham, um, but apart from that, you that's the only block you could put on his uh, his season is is that. So, so check for me, fantastic player. Uh, reminds me a lot of um, reminds me a lot of uh, Patrick Vieira the way he plays. And uh, he, he does, he get, gets a few goals as well. So, Socek has been a fantastic signing. Probably one of the main FPL um, picks as well. He's been in my team most of the season as well. So, I've been very, very impressed with Socek. So, Socek definitely deserves to be in that team of the season. Now we've got three attackers behind one striker. And we're going to go to right wing. And I think there's only really one possibility here. It's Mohamed Salah. Yes, Liverpool have not been great this season. But Mohamed Salah, Salah's game, ratio per goals, has just gone up another level. Um, 20, 22 goals this season. Cracking, cracking 
season that Mohamed Salah has had. With, with it not, not being without Salah's goals, Liverpool would not finish in the top four. So, you know what? Salah finished one goal behind um, Harry Kane. You have to put have to put Salah in there. It'd be foolish not to. I have seen a lot of uh, pundits alike that have not actually had Mohamed Salah. Gary Neville, Jamie Carragher haven't had Mohamed Salah in there. Um, so for me, Mohamed Salah thoroughly, thoroughly deserves to be in this team of the season. So Mohamed Salah at the right wing. Left wing, this was a very tricky one. I was going to go with Human Song. But then he kind of drifted in and out of um, Spurs' performances um, since that Carabao Cup final. Um, So I'm actually going to go for Chelsea's Mason Mount. I think Mason Mount is one of the most underrated players coming into the Premier League this season. Um, Again, obviously, Frank Lampard did start the season with Chelsea. He had Mason Mount at Derby County, if you remember that. He played very well then. He's actually... You know, taking his season up to a new level this season uh, as well. Mason Mount has been absolutely fantastic and thoroughly deserves a place in this team of the season for me. I think Mount has probably been the best out of a bad bunch at Chelsea, uh, I'll be honest with you. Um, you know, obviously, I think Mendy, the goalkeeper, has been very, very good. You know, attacking wise, you know, Pulisic has been injured a lot. Ziek has been injured a lot. Werner, he's hit and miss. But Mason Mount. He has actually had he's got some really important goals as well, you would have to say for sure. So Mason Mount for me is definitely in the team of the season. Yeah, for sure. So we go on to the uh, the other attacking midfielder and really I don't think there's any So yes, the final the final um attacking midfielder in this team behind the striker is going to be Bruno Fernandes. Look, Bruno Fernandes, whatever you say about him, Fernandes and all this all this uh, thing about Bruno Fernandes, his goal involvements and goals and assists for Manchester United is the highest of anybody since he joined in the Premier League. Um, he's been fantastic again. He's been probably Manchester United's best player um, this season. You know, Cavani came in. He's had a very good season as well, but... If you're talking about Manchester United, uh, you know, attackers, I, I I think Bruno Fernandes was really the only pick you could pick, really. I know Gary Neville went for Marcus Rashford in his team, but even then, I would say that, you know, Ra- uh, Fernandes has had a much, much better season than any attacker of Manchester United. So, Bruno Fernandes definitely goes in there um, as well. And, uh, yeah, uh, a nice, nice wee attacking three. And, of course, the striker... The striker, well, there was really only one option for me, and it's Harry Kane. Harry Kane, golden boot winner. Um, him and Son put in a very good partnership this season. I will say that now. Uh, but Harry Kane, very, very good. It'll be interesting to see where he ends up next season. Because it ain't going to be Spurs. I can say that now for a fact. It will not be Spurs. So... I think, if you have to say that now, I, I think it's going to be a very, very interesting summer for for Harry Kane, um, for sure. But Harry Kane, goal scorer supreme, 23 goals this season in the Premier League. Got the golden boot, one ahead of Mohamed Salah. Very, very well done, Harry Kane. So we will see where you end up next season. Will it be Manchester City? Will it be Manchester United? Will it be Chelsea? Will it be Barcelona? Will it be Real Madrid? Will it be PSG? Or will he stay at Spurs? We will see. We will see what happens. So, just to clarify, my team of the season is Emmy Martinez, Vlad Sufal, Wesley Fafana, Ruben Diaz, Luke Shaw, Ilkay Gundogan, Thomas Suchek, Mohamed Salah, Bruno Fernandes, Mason Mount and Harry Kane. Yes, there's going to be a bench. There's going to be a bench. On my bench, so substitute goalkeeper would have been Ederson. Um, you know, Golden Glove winner, but I just don't. I just think Martinez has been the better goalkeeper this season. I, I've just got. To, I've just got to go with uh, what my gut was saying, and I was thinking that Martinez has been better than Ederson this season. Uh, also, is on there is Joao Cancelo. I think Joao Cancelo has had a fantastic season for Manchester City. It was very, very difficult to leave him out. But because of the emergence of Soufal, I think he has been a great, great right back. So Cancelo on the bench. I'm going to go for Ben Godfrey as well. Another good player for Everton. Uh, Probably Everton's pick of the bunch at the back. 
very, very consistent. Very, very consistent. I've been mean, really, really impressed with Ben Godfrey. Seems to get a, a lot of plaudits for, uh, for, for, for sure, for for Everton. So uh, I've been very, very impressed with uh, the way that you know Godfrey has gone about his game, um, for sure. Um, very, very consistent, as we said. So Ben Godfrey will be on the bench. Uh, Phil Foden. I'm going for Phil Foden. Um, yep, yeah, I think Foden has had a great, great season. Uh, the amount of goals he's scored as well, involvements as well, assists. This guy's got it all, and I think he is going to be so, so key for England at the Euros. I would say, definitely say that for sure. So Phil Foden for sure, uh, and then I've gone for John Minson. Um, yeah, look, it was a difficult decision to leave Son out, but just because of all season, I would say Mason Mount has probably been better um than uh, than son but what you can say the son has had a great great season uh and it'll be interesting to see if spurs could actually hold on to him as well so yeah son on the bench that's quite fair um as well and then i've got two strikers one is patrick bamford i think he has sat everybody down who doubted him um 17 goals in the premier league very very good season for patrick bamford and Quite honestly, I think he is going to have a good season uh, for sure. He might just miss out on the England squad, but I think there's always time for next year. If he can continue the way he has been playing, I think Patrick Bamford England um, call-ups uh, for sure. And the last striker is Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Yes, Dominic Calvert-Lewin's goals have really helped Everton this season. And again, another fantasy football uh, favourite for, for sure for for all season as Dominic Carver Lewin, but yeah, he's been fantastic this season and uh, goals, goals as well. Um, had a few assists as well. Goal involvement, great player, great player, Dominic Carver Lewin. He he's def definitely put his game up to another level. So that is it. That is my Premier League team of the season and um bench done and dusted as i have said leave your team of the season in the comment section down below do you agree with mine do you disagree with anyone who i put in there let me know let me know it's all about opinions at the end of the day so that is what football is all about but until then it's goodbye from if you do like the content please hit that subscribe button drop a like on the video as well and we will see what your team of the season is as well and i'll see you all in the next one take care everyone bye bye for now